everyone is having a wonderful day. We'll get started here shortly. Hello, hello. We are live. This is live on Twitch, the Todd Reacts channel. Uh, I was going to say welcome back to another reaction video, but this is different. This is a stream. Um, the main reason why I'm doing this is that editing and trying to play catch up is just not working. <laughs> it's just not working. If you're unfamiliar, uh, I did lose a family member in October and took a couple weeks off, which definitely put me behind on requests. So what I've been doing as of late is trying to catch up by recording and editing. And if you're unfamiliar or didn't count or just don't count, which I totally understand, by the way, um, I do roughly, I think the number is right around like 38 total videos, 40-ish videos per month. Um, and that can be quite taxing on the time. So my idea going forward for this channel, and I'm doing it now because I have to play catch up. So I'm going to be doing it more frequently. And you're going to notice a lot more uploads of these. Um, is that I'm going to do five videos per stream as of now. Five videos per stream that have been requested by ToddReacts.com members. And that erases 100% of the editing that I have to do, which is great. If you're unfamiliar, excuse me. If you're unfamiliar, editing takes two, three times as much time to uh, produce than to just record. So, recording, you know, YouTube videos, it could be five minutes, it could be 10 minutes, it could be 25 minutes. Um, and then just take that and then times it by two or three. And that's the editing time, which is crazy because my editing is not amazing. Like it's not cinematic. It's not, <laughs> I'm not putting CGI in. I'm not doing anything, you know, otherworldly, like some of these massive creators that have teams of editors and they all have unbelievable skills that I do not have. <laughs> I do not possess. Um, I do everything for this channel, uh, that you see, including the graphic work, everything, this entire setup of the stream. The only thing I haven't done was this. This little 3D logo, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> I definitely can't do that. I tried, I did try, and failed. So uh, most of what you see, I do, and it just takes up way too much time. And to be able to do all those videos and have a personal life and have like a professional life, it is just not possible. Um, and trying to play catch up is. I mean, I'm having to do multiple months of requests per month, <laughs> so it is quite taxing. Um, so we're going to be doing it via this. It might be a longer video, so this might be, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours long. Uh, and I will be doing timestamps in the comments. I'll probably pin it. Uh, I don't think I'll put it in the description, but maybe I'll do just a uh, pinned comment, I guess. So if you're looking for something specific, you can find it. But one thing that's kind of interesting about this is that instead of 12 different videos for, you know, each specific request, it'll just be one video that's longer. Um, and you'll be able to find your request in there uh, or whatever video you're looking to watch in there. So it's going to be interesting. There'll be fewer videos. Uh, there still will be standalone. So what I'm going to have to do is upload the videos separately to see if they get blocked by YouTube. Um, and if they do get blocked, that will be its separate own video, just like it's always been on the channel. Um, and then it'll be blacked out or, you know, just distorted in a way so that it can actually be shown. <laughs> and then you can go to toddreacts.com to watch the uh, full unedited version, undistorted, I guess you could say. Is that a word? 
I don't know. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> One thing that's a little nerve wracking about this is the fact that you're going to see just how much I sit here and think before I say a comment. Um, I'm assuming over time I'm going to get better at this. You know, live puts a bit of pressure on you and words just kind of come out uh, instead of actually sitting and thinking about it. But when you're reacting to content and you're really trying to be thoughtful about it, very often I sit here and I just kind of think to myself, you know, what, what did I just watch? What's something that I took away from that? Or what's something relatable in my life to that? So it, it, it might be a little bit of pause at the beginning. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Uh, this is kind of a flying by the seat of my pants kind of thing. But uh, it should be interesting. And I'm assuming live streaming will get easier as it goes on. And I will be, by the way, the plan here is to start on Twitch, which is just easy to do. Um, and it's the full 1080p. And Twitch has a really cool thing where I can then take that live stream and then just directly import it to YouTube full quality. And it takes like two seconds, which is amazing, by the way. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of partnership they have, but it's really fantastic. Um, but the eventual future plan is that I would be going live on Twitch and on YouTube. So you can watch it on YouTube uh, originally. The only problem with that, obviously, is if you're watching live, you won't get the timestamps. But hey, you can hang out. You can go in the chat. You can talk to me. I will talk back. <laughs> Not talk back in a negative way, but talk back. Um, so this is kind of interesting. It's a lot more controls. I have one of those stream deck things with all the buttons on it, with the colors and whatnot, that kind of will help me zoom around to the different scenes and whatnot that I set up. Um, that's going to be a learning curve. <laughs> I can already tell. Because right before this started, I was looking at it, and I'm like, oh, I can't switch over the videos like as I'm like now. I could literally be sitting here and just... Boom, do that, load up video one, and then transition to it and it starts. I need studio mode for that. So this is something new that I didn't see coming. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. I haven't really, uh, I haven't really looked at it much, but uh, I tried to, my best to figure it out. Um, the streams going forward here are mostly going to be in the morning. Uh, today it's not because, well... I found out, oh, I need to set this up differently. <laughs> so I've been working on that. Um, also, what's going on is I've been spending my afternoons applying for jobs. I'm currently unemployed, which is not great. I was laid off um, due to reorganization, which is just a fancy way of saying, you know what? We don't need you, <laughs> which is terrible. But, you know, so I'm going through that. And I got to be able to interview and whatnot. So I'm going to try to get these in the morning uh, as best I can. And um, yeah, it has been an interesting, interesting time <laughs> in the household. <laughs> I don't know what to expect next. I just, at this point, life is just throwing curveballs right and left. And I'm just dodging them. I'm dodging. I'm not even swinging the bat. I'm just dodging. Okay. Um, so yeah, going forward, these are going to be every weekday, um, except maybe Fridays where I do longer form content recordings. That'll obviously still be offline, um, and that'll be on the website, the episode reactions. Um, I think I have, I think I actually have, oh, you know what? I can't find it right now. Well, whatever. <laughs> I think I'll have it for the end. Um that photo of the list of reactions, you can actually find it on the website. Just hit the sneak peek button, the little link at the top. That'll take you there. Uh, and it literally lists out what's behind the paywall. So should be interesting. This will be an everyday kind of thing. And it will be uploaded same day because there's no editing involved, which is fantastic. It's kind of on-the-fly editing, which is terrifying because, you know, I could screw up whatever. But it's also pretty interesting. It, uh, it takes a lot of time away from everything else. So it's nice that, you know, I can't afford a team of editors. <laughs> so it's just not possible. Um, I wish I could. 
actually this experience with setting up stream and editing videos and whatnot and trying to figure out the right direction to take this, it has taught me a lot about, oh, that's why when channels get big enough, they hire an editor or multiple editors, employees or interns or whatever. I don't know if they pay them or not. I'm assuming they do, right? Pay people for their time to edit. Um, that's exactly why they do it because it takes up so much time. <laughs> and I could be recording so many more videos like every day if I wasn't editing because usually it's one day I record a couple videos and then the next day I have to edit all those videos. And it takes the entire day of free time that I have, which is crazy. <laughs> so I hope you like the new format. It's gonna be like this for a little bit. Um, and then eventually it'll just be a weekly thing. So five videos weekly in one stream, and then I'll do my gaming stream, mostly on Twitch. I don't know if I'm going to stream that on YouTube as well. Maybe. Um, I guess if I have the software or figure out how to stream in two different locations, I might as well do it. But uh, right now, every past Saturday, I've been on Twitch uh, gaming. Recently, it's been Fortnite. I might do something else this weekend. I haven't quite decided. But uh, that's been kind of my introduction to this, and I hope you enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, um, and let's get into it, I guess. <laughs> Might as well, right? All right, the first video is going to be Meredith Grey, You Are the Sun. Obviously, that is from Grey's Anatomy. I've reacted to quite a few Grey's Anatomy videos. I'll try to put the, pro I'll try to put the, uh, well, there we go, Miss <laughs> misspeaking already. I'll try to put the uh, playlist up in the corner here, and it should pop up uh, where you can check out all the different uh, Grey's Anatomy videos that I've already reacted to. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that going forward, honestly. Uh, there's going to be no way to kind of sort them, which is weird, because I would need multiple playlists for the videos if they're all different shows, which is what it's going to have to be. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting thing. It, you know what? It's going to be, um, you're going to have to go to the channel page and just type in whatever word that you're looking for. So if I go, let's see. Let's see if I can do this here. Um, oh, you know what? We'll do that later. So if you go to the main channel page and you hit the little spyglass or the eyeglass, not spyglass, the little eyeglass symbol, you can actually type in a word out of a title and search for it. And all the videos that have that, even more so that don't have that towards the bottom, I don't know why they, <laughs> why that search function isn't better, but uh, you can actually find the videos with that word in the title. And a bunch of random videos that don't have that word in the title <laughs> towards the bottom. YouTube's got to fix that. But uh, anyway, first one, Meredith Grey, You Are the Sun. Let's get into it. I needed more time with him, but there's no more time. You can't go back. You can't press pause. The carousel never stops turning. Richard, it. no. Richard, you... Richard! When I was five, my mom lost me in a park. I doubt I'll ever love another man the way I loved him. I don't remember much. I'm certain I won't. Except that one minute I was riding the carousel, and the next... Oh my god. ...she was gone. Okay. He's gone. That's the point, isn't it? He's gone, and I'm here. And, uh... All I remember is what happened next. I was the only woman in my surgical residency program. Mommy! Look! They called me Girl and Mrs. Gray. I remember moving to Boston. And... I remember she cried a lot. And I knew I wasn't supposed to make any noise. My mother tried to kill herself when I was a kid. Blood. Just blood. Wow. After the love of her life disappeared. I never told anybody that before. Meredith, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. She told me not to worry. And then... Ah, ow, ow, ow. Mommy! Her water broke. It's okay, so on the kitchen floor, and that scared me because it reminded me of the blood in the kitchen when mm. she cut her wrist. Just blood. You're bleeding. There's oh blood. Mommy, should I call 911? 911. 
My mommy needs help. And I went to the hospital. I was there. I did not realize how dark this story was. Oh my God, this is a whole other level to the show that I did not see before. This is crazy. Both times. My kids, where are my kids? Stop it. Oh, she shouldn't be in here. I'm the smart girl who knew how to call 911. You might have saved your mother's life. And I heard my mother cry. Oh. And then... Don't touch me! Oh. Funny, isn't it? The way memory works. Yeah. The things you can't quite remember. It's just like my mother used to say, the carousel Meredith, never stops Meredith, turning. Meredith, you grew up. I did. <laughs> it's a shame. It's awful being a grown-up. The carousel <laughs> never stops turning. You got sick. That you is have Alzheimer's. poignant. What the hell are you doing here? Haven't I told you? How many times have I told you not to bother me when I'm at work? No! <laughs> Are you calling me a coward? What do you think? What happened to you? What do you mean? You're happy? You're happy now? He's afraid. Afraid to be happy. The Meredith I knew was a force of nature, passionate, focused, a fighter. What happened to you? You've gone soft. I was swimming. <laughs> I was fighting. I raised you to be an extraordinary human being. And then I thought, <gasps> just for a second, yeah! So imagine my disappointment when I wake up after five years and discover that you're no more than ordinary. What's the point? And I told you, you should go to DC and shine there. He's very dreamy, but he is not the sun. You are. Just stay out of my way. Wow. You sound just like your mother. What happened to you? Oh my god. You're nothing like your mother. The apple fell pretty far from the tree, huh? So you think I'm broken? Fix me. You think I sound like my mother? You do. Because I'm no quitter. And now I get to live under the weight of your disappointment, too? She told me to be extraordinary. She said that she had failed, but that I should be extraordinary. It means that you are a gifted, talented, extraordinary surgeon, exactly like your mother. But the difference is you get to learn from her mistakes. Be right. extraordinary. She wasn't talking about surgery. No, she wasn't. She wasn't talking about surgery at all. I would have been happy. Just like Meredith says, she's happy. <laughs> you are anything but ordinary Meredith. The first time I went Holy toxicity. Avery, I thought, <laughs> screw all those boys. You're, you're being selfish. Well, I have to be, Derek, because you believe that your career is more important than mine. At this moment in time, it is. No, not at this moment. Always. And I dedicated that award to all the women surgeons blood. who would come after me. Oh my God, that's her mother's <laughs> blood? I can't live without you. But I don't want to. Oh my God, what was that? <laughs> that was wild. That was absolutely wild. Number one, when a parent tries to end themselves, that's going to be traumatic. Like, that's going to follow you wherever you go. That is that is not going to let you just go on that. You're going to remember that forever. And that might affect every relationship you have going forward, unless you kind of deal with it, I guess. But I don't even know what therapy can do at that. Maybe Maybe it can solve it. Maybe it can, you know, help you deal with it, cope with it. But uh, that is rough, especially to walk in on that as a kid. Oof. Can't remember what movie it was. It was Ryan Gosling, and he witnessed his mother trying to end herself or did end herself or something like that. And it was, it affected everything, like completely everything. He was weird, mysterious, whatever you want to call it, um, and just terrifying. <laughs> so. Wow, this is a side to Meredith that I don't think I've seen before or heard before. Um, trying to think back in all those different videos, I don't think I saw this part of her. Mostly it was to do with Alex. I think Alex is the name, right? 
um, McDreamy, I guess. <laughs> What's his nickname or something? Um, or McSteamy. McDreamy or McSteamy? I don't know. I know there's both, and I can't remember which one's which. Um, number two, that was that was more intense than I thought this show was, honestly. I thought it was all kind of happy-go-lucky, you know, other than the plane crash I've obviously seen. Um, those scenes are pretty awful. But I thought it was mostly, like, emotional, like, breakups, relationships, that kind of thing. So it's interesting to see that there's quite a bit more to the emotional distress of the show. Um, boy, that is... <laughs> that was... That caught me by surprise. <laughs> that really did. Um, oh, gosh. I don't even... I don't even know. Like, the fact that it's it's like she raised her to be so strong that she was cut off from everything. You know what I mean? Like, she was almost protecting herself. Well, number one, she was protecting herself. And, you know, the walls were up, guarded, um, because of what her mother did to herself. Um, that probably brought him up quite a bit. And then... Also, she was apparently raised to be so strong that she just was cutthroat in a lot of ways. Um, I have no idea if that's a case. It seems like it. Uh, let me know down below in the comments, certainly. I'm open to any and all clarifications. I appreciate it. Um, and I do read... What's a good percentage there? I probably read 90... 8% of comments. There's some that are filtered out by YouTube that I don't read. Um, I think it's mostly to do with either it's like some sort of like craziness or there's links involved. So if you post a link in a comment, chances are YouTube will filter it out. Just a heads up on that. Um, I did, you know what? It does work for some hate because <laughs> I did look at them once and there was a couple comments in there and I'm like, you know what? kind of glad YouTube has that. It's kind of like a spam filter of, you know, nonsense. <laughs> like comment on the video, not on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, it's kind of nice to see that. Um, yeah. Meredith is very strong. Almost too strong is what kind of came, came across in that video to the point where she is too closed off. Um, and it's going to affect every relationship she's ever had or going forward. Um, I don't exactly know how she resolves it. That wasn't made clear, obviously. But I'm assuming she did. I mean, judging on some of the past videos I've seen, she gets into some pretty nice uh, relationship situations. Or so I think. <laughs> it's kind of hard to remember. I am at a thousand videos on this channel. So it says. I don't know if it's exactly a thousand reaction videos, but it, it literally says a thousand, which is crazy. <laughs> That's a thousand videos in since uh, March 2021. So it's been it's been a couple of years. <laughs> but a thousand videos. Wow. But uh yeah, that's that's interesting. It definitely looks like a good show. It looks like a nice show. Um, I know it's a comfort show to many. What makes a comfort show? That's the question I have. Um, is it something that you've seen so many times that you can just throw it on in the background and just do other things and it's kind of like nice background noise and you kind of go into it every once in a while, you listen to the words that are being said and it kind of pulls you in? but it's not too distracting? Or is a comfort show more like the story is so interesting that you just, you watch it just to feel what you felt the first time you watched it kind of thing? I have no idea because <laughs> I don't have a comfort show, believe it or not. Um, I just don't. I don't know why. My comfort show is video games. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Uh, but I just plug into a video game and my mind just shuts off completely. And I can get lost in there for hours at a time. 
and then come out of it and not even realize why I went into it. Like if I'm angry or something at something or annoyed or um, it's been a rough day or something like that, I literally just plug in. An hour and a half later, I come out of the game and I'm like, all right, <laughs> it's like a normal day. <laughs> it's crazy how that works. But uh, I'm assuming a comfort show is very much like that, where you watch it, you get that good feeling over you, and then you come out of it and you're just like, all right, I'm good. It's like you're refreshed. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on Grey's Anatomy and Meredith down below in the comments. Thanks so much. Um, I'm looking forward to reading those. Video two. Let's go ahead and get started on video two. It is another Grey's Anatomy uh, video. Which one is this? This is at least I'm trying. No, this is me trying. Alex and Meredith. Uh, obviously from Grey's Anatomy. Let's go ahead and jump into it. You can talk, you know, I mean, you need to. I'm fine. The chips on the ceiling are from the first Christmas tree we got intern year. You wouldn't know that because we didn't like you then. You know, even if I repeat every word you say, no one around here likes me. They'll just call me a liar and move on. And the burn marks on the hardwoods are from flame shots from that stupid party Izzy he threw. Izzy likes you. Just explain it to me because I don't get it. You're blushing. I don't get her. And I do. What are you doing here? I'm like you, hiding. Why aren't you at the Thanksgiving? I've been having a hard time adjusting. <sighs> Had the shiniest wheels, now the worst thing in the world. I didn't know if you'd care if I could. Knowing it's out there. I have a lot Why aren't you at Thanksgiving? If you want it. Pull the car off the road to the No, it's not the worst thing. Could have fallen my fears all the way down. And maybe I don't quite know what to say, but I'm here in your doorway. I just want to get you. Now you go ahead. This is me you sure? Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> How many times does I'm fine mean I'm not fine? But I'm just going to tell you I'm fine so you don't ask about it. <laughs> that is very, very true. That's right. This is me trying. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. So you think I'm broken? You should go. Otherwise, you're just... What are you going to do if I leave? Fix me. Me. A miserable disease, dirty ex <laughs> <laughs> <It's really laughs> How is it that you don't know the difference between right and wrong? I'd smash your pathetic little face right into that lock. Alex. Dang. Because I don't think that things are simply right or wrong. <laughs> that corpse is twice the man you will ever be. Ooh. You think this is noble, what you're doing? It isn't. It's giving up. <laughs> it's buying into everything you've ever said about yourself, and I won't let you do it. You know you're nothing like your father, right? You're good. Any. <laughs> You're nothing like your mother. You can fall in love and be blindly happy. But not everyone can pick up a scalpel and save a life. She stood by me for years when everybody else left. Everyone's leaving and everyone is dying. This was Derek's blanket. It means I'm going to be there for her when she needs me because she's the only one I can tell. <laughs> And the scratch marks on the door jam in the study hey. are Zola's height marks. And the ones on the other side Alex. are for me when I was little. I grew up there, Alex. Alex hosted a Christmas party? And you grew up there, too. So before you go trying to change everything about yourself, you got yourself this far, and you're fine the way you are, and so is the house. Wow. That was really powerful <laughs> oh my gosh it was short but very powerful and sweet you know the worst thing you can do is not try so at least i'm trying or this is me trying that's an app title um what seems to be happening is meredith is taking alex under her wing and trying to fix him 
and maybe trying to fix herself in the same time or at the same time. I don't know if that exactly works, <laughs> but it might work for Alex. But uh, maybe it's also reflective or Meredith can ponder on what Alex is going through and then apply it to her own life and vice versa, you know. But it's one of those things where you're just like, I don't know if that's going to exactly help her in any way, but maybe it's almost like she's giving therapy to someone else that she might be able to apply to herself. A lot of people are good at that. You know, it's easy to give advice, but it's hard to follow that advice. Or certainly it's hard to follow your own advice. Um, I go through that all the time <laughs> or I just, I give people other advice. You know, I think it's smart. I think it's interesting advice. Um, but then I'm not following it myself, <laughs> which is not great. It's not ideal. I recognize the fact that I don't. Um, but discipline is very difficult. A lot of people are not very good at discipline. I am not very good at discipline. I am more than comfortable saying that. <laughs> but uh, you know what I am? I am very like spur-of-the-moment discipline where it'll just be randomness. And just all of a sudden I'm disciplined, like just to be able to do this channel by itself, um, by myself, takes a lot of discipline, you know, maybe a hobby that you have, or maybe you do art or, you know, maybe you walk dogs, maybe you babysit, whatever that takes discipline to be able to do that and to constantly do that and to get yourself to do that. So it's very interesting how, uh, how discipline is something we all need, but it is very difficult to self-discipline. And what's funny is I always think of like boot camp from like military stuff and how most of it is yelling or getting people to be disciplined. So it's not coming from yourself. It's coming from someone else. But eventually that discipline seeps into your own psyche and then you keep your own self in check. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Jocko Wilnick, but uh, he gets up every morning at like 4.30 in the morning and posts a picture of his watch on Instagram. And it's 4.30, 4.34, 4.32. It's close. It's close. It's never always exactly on, but it is, <laughs> it's impressive that he does that every single day. That is a crazy amount of discipline self-discipline um the amount of times i've told myself like oh i'm going to sleep early tonight don't worry about it and then i you know i'm scrolling or whatever i'm watching something and it's 3 a.m and i'm like whoops <laughs> the amount of times that have happened that has happened throughout my life is crazy but one of those things that eventually i'll get right what helps is to have a job or whatever that you have to get up for in the morning because you don't want to be too tired for it um, I used to do that in the beginning. It was very difficult, very difficult to wake up and be functional. <laughs> but uh, it's nice to see Meredith kind of get offering advice or like her own way of therapy and to Alex, who obviously needs it. Seems like he has some anger issues, uh, some issues with his father probably being angry at him. And it's kind of trickled down from generation to generation. It's one of those things you hope to break. Um, it is difficult. It is difficult to break those generational, uh, what would you call that? Traits, I guess. Traits, maybe. Um, whether it's being angry or um, being distant or being difficult to love or whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whatever gets passed down. Uh, most of us do end up very much being like our parents, which is so strange. It's so strange. I don't know why that happens. Maybe because we get ingrained with their age and their traits from a young age, and it takes us time to get to where they were. And once we get to where they are or they were, then we start showing those same traits. It might be like an imprinting kind of thing like that. I have no idea, but... That's kind of a random thought that I had. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. We're just seeing it at a young age, 
And then when we grow up, we think our our mind just molds to how our parents were at that age and we just become it. I have no idea, <laughs> but that sounds like a pretty decent theory. Um, have you noticed yourself seeming like your parents at all? Like anything you do or say, um, it is, it's definitely weird because <laughs> you do, you do think of it every once in a while and you're like, Oh my gosh, I'm becoming my whatever father, mother, whatever. Um, <laughs> that was a great video. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, clearly, Alex went through some stuff and is working through some stuff. It's nice that Meredith is there. Obviously, she is, quote-unquote, broken uh, by her own mother, which happens a lot. You know, not all of our parents are stellar, or not everyone's... Um, not everyone's... Uh, Parents are very interesting <laughs> in that way. Like they they just, sometimes they ignore the child or whatever, and then you're constantly looking for that approval. Um, hello to Mr. Todd, please. What is your favorite wallpaper patterns? Wallpaper patterns? Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't have wallpaper. Uh, honestly, I just like paint kind of a neutral color. If I were to pick an inside color for something, I'd probably go with like a, what's it called? Like buttercream or something. Um, wallpapers for walls. Uh, growing up, we had this one wallpaper is very like Southwestern United States. Like it had like cacti on it. Um, it was supposedly according to my parents, very expensive, <laughs> very expensive. But growing up, it just seemed so dated, so dated over the years. Um, it was very weird. <laughs> so wallpaper is one of those things. If you don't get something that can go through generations or time, it'll just become so dated to the point where you either rip it down or paint over it or something like that, no matter how much money you spend on it. Cacti pattern, wallpapers, pattern of a good spirit. Yeah, I'd say so. A lot of good memories in that house. Um, let me know your comments on your favorite wallpaper. <laughs> All right, the third video. Third video is Lorelai and Rory, You're My Flashlight, which is from the show, I believe, Gilmore Girls, right? Yeah, Gilmore Girls. I've done quite a few Gilmore Girls reactions. You can go ahead and check those out. Uh, I'll probably put another playlist oh, over here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started with that. You never gave me any idea that I couldn't do whatever I wanted to do or be whomever I wanted to be. As she guided me through these incredible 18 years, I don't know if she ever realized that the person I most wanted to be was her. When tomorrow comes, I'll be on my own Feeling frightened of the you, things that I don't know engaged. When tomorrow comes, You and Luke getting engaged and not telling me about it, you hurt me Back at you <laughs> and though the road is long, I look up to the Mom, sky Rory, I got a job Rory, where? At the, at the Stanford Gazette And I sing along I, sing I love you, Mom Because you have no idea I remember being smaller. That's scary. I'm ready to wallow now. Wow. My day sucked too. Mom, why can't we have what you and Rory have? Rory and I are different, Mom. I think you're a great, cool kid. And the best friend a girl could have. One thing that's interesting is the fact that they're, they almost look like sisters. There's not a lot of years between them. You know, between my mom and myself, there's 40 years. 40. So it's very generationally different. Um, it must be very interesting to have a parent that's somewhat similar life. Um, certainly not. Certainly not too different. Um, where it's almost like grandparent level age gap. 
uh, that's something that you know I kind of had to live with. It wasn't bad, but it was also very weird going into like school and when the parents came to school and they were just visually different compared to all the other parents. <laughs> like especially when we were younger, it was just very obvious. You know, it's nothing bad about that, but it was very, very obvious. Rory and I are best friends, Mom. We are best friends first and mother and daughter second. Like, that's a relationship I would never say. Like, that, that's wild. I need to talk to my, my mom. I cannot do this alone. I need my mommy. Damn it, I don't care who knows it. I'll be right there. We just broke up. I've got mom. That's all I need. Go be somebody else's dad. We can't take a road trip. You're getting married this weekend. Where are we going? I miss you. Aren't you happy? Yes. I'm happy. I miss you too. I love you. Did you know that? Oh, it's just a little boo-boo. Lori is my life. She's my pal my everything, and I would never, ever do anything that would hurt her. Hey. What? You look happy. I am, kid. Just checking. To my mom. That's adorable. Who is just everything to me. <laughs> this is super adorable. Everything I am, and who I'm going to miss so much. Slow. Mm -mm, trust me, it's past. How can you be so okay with everything? If I stop to think about you leaving now, I'm gonna fall apart. Gosh, I'm kind of torn on this, you. to be honest. I love you. Rory, please put down that cup of coffee. You do not want to grow up to be like this. Mom, you've given me everything I need. What do you think of your life so far? I think it's pretty good. I mean, seems like it. Obviously, those are all the best cuts of the relationship. Obviously, there's some negatives as well. But it seems like a pretty good life. Obviously, there, there's definitely going to be negatives in there. Obviously, the link to the original videos will all be in the description on YouTube. I don't know if I can do that. I don't think there's links allowed in the description on Twitch. I'm going to have to look into that. But YouTube, for sure, all the original edits are going to be on there. I'm kind of torn, honestly. I don't know exactly which way I go on this. You know, if you're parent is okay well right now the push for children and having children is getting further and further into people's lives so very often you're in your 30s maybe mid 30s um, and it just keeps getting pushed and pushed and pushed for your first child part of me is just like watching that that makes me think huh so if you're younger and you have kids it's very easy to almost relate more to the child because you're less far away from where they were. So you almost become like a best friend in a lot of ways. Like you're not too far detached from where they are, you know, where they were. So you can easily relate and you can recall memories and whatnot from the time that they're going through. But also, part of me goes, you know, if it's too close or you have a kid too young, then you kind of lose some of your authority because it's obviously you have some authority. You're paying for their, you're, they're paying for their structure, their housing, you know, their food, etc. But you kind of lose some of that seniority factor as well. Like it, it's you're so far away if your parents forty and you're born. By the time they're 10, 15, 20, whatever, the parent is so old, they've seen so much of life that they just, they have this air of authority and I've been through it all. I have way more life experience than you. And you kind of listen to it a lot more. 
Um, and they just seem more like a parent. But then you also think about like, yeah, but is it so detached that there's just not enough authority there? You're very buddy, buddy. And you kind of lose sight of the fact that they are your parent. Um, you get a little reckless with it. The parent might want to be your friend more than they want to be like a disciplinarian or something like that. So I'm kind of torn on the idea of whether it's better to have better to have an older parent or like a younger parent, or maybe there's like a happy middle in there somewhere. <laughs> Cause I grew up with an older parent, right? My mom was 40 when she had me. So by the time I'm 40, she's going to be 80, which is terrifying. Um, unfortunately due to that, there's another thing. If they're that much older, you don't have them in your life uh, for as long as other people will, which is awful, obviously. Um, I've gone through that. Wouldn't wish it on my enemies. <laughs> it is not fun. Um, but also, if there's so... Well, I would rather have more time, I think. So maybe it's worth the risk of... Worth the risk of being close in age and not having that kind of stern, um, I don't know, parental aura around them. And they just kind of get that at the older they get. So the more years apart you are, it's very interesting. <laughs> I don't know why I've gone in this direction, but honestly, it just seems right. Hmm. I don't know. That's a toughie. Actually, after losing a parent, you kind of realize, I would rather have more time, I think. So maybe having kids younger is a better option. Obviously, you're not going to be as far along in your career. Um, you might miss out on some you know, young traveling or something. But I think over time, you're going to appreciate the, t the amount of time you get to spend with your kid through their life. Like you could be, you know, with your child and alive until they're like 60, 65, something like that. You know, if you live long enough, dang, you could see almost to their retirement even. Um, as opposed to bowing out, as we'll say, uh, when they're 30 or 35. And that is tragic. <laughs> tragic. Um, because you would do anything to get more time. Literally do anything to get more time. So it's kind of that weird conundrum. Like everyone wants a career, obviously. Who doesn't? But also the longer you push it, the less time you're going to have with your own kids. You're going to die before they get married maybe or before they hit their middle age where they're really into their career. Um, you're going to miss out on a lot of life stuff, unfortunately, unless they get married early and also have kids early. So they get to see their grandkids. You know, it's one of those things where it, the further it gets pushed, the more they're going to miss. I don't know. I'm kind of erring on the side of younger, <laughs> I guess, 20s, you know, early 20s, mid 20s. But obviously, as someone who has gone through their mid-20s, has well gone through their mid-20s, uh, I think back to that time, and I was just like, I'm not really an adult adult. Like, the idea of children at this point is terrifying. <laughs> I can barely support myself. How am I going to bring kids into this? <laughs> and I get that. But also, part of me is just looking back now, after you know losing a parent, when I'm not very old, I go, dang, I would hate, hate that to happen, you know? Ugh. It is, it is something that you reflect on, for sure. It's nice to see Lorelai and Rory have that connection. Um, seems good. Seems well. Uh, obviously, there's probably a lot left out. A lot of fighting. <laughs> whatnot. Struggles power struggles and all that stuff because they're 
somewhat close in age. But I'm sure at the end of the day, it's mostly positive. I shouldn't have had that Celsius earlier. <laughs> Making me burpy like crazy. <laughs> Good grief. Um, let's go ahead and hop into a word from the sponsor. Now, you're going to recognize the sponsor because it's it's me. <laughs> I don't have any sponsors except myself. So basically how that's going to work is halfway, I don't know, a couple videos through. I'm just going to run that. Uh, you can kind of expect it. I hope this goes well. Obviously, I can't know if it's going well, <laughs> like if all the audio is working and whatnot, until I watch it and finish this. So it's kind of a terrifying prospect, but it'll get, get more ironed out over time. And I appreciate your patience uh, as I... I don't know, get used to this. And this becomes what's going to happen. It's going to be interesting. Um, I think I've settled on Tuesdays, maybe, at night for these streams, uh, as soon as I get caught up. And I'll let you know when that happens. And it'll be very obvious. I'll put it in the schedule on Twitch, and I'll schedule the videos on YouTube. So it should be fairly, fairly obvious uh, when these are going to start. Um, certainly sign up for notifications if you haven't. That way you get notified when those are, videos are scheduled. Or you can just come back and check the channel and you'll be fine. Um, and I suppose, I don't know exactly how long these are going to be or how long, how long has this gone? Oh, we're about an hour. About an hour in. That's not too long. We only have, um, let's see, we only have... Two more videos to go. We're going to hop into the fourth video. Let me pull that up real quick. It is going to be Vanessa and Ethan Saturn from the show Penny Dreadful. I've seen Penny Dreadful. It is a great show. Uh, if you have not seen it, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's really one of those shows where I, I didn't know what to expect going into it, but I truly enjoyed it. Uh, it's weird. It's got well-known characters that you've definitely heard of. Um, it's a little dark. It's a little, you know, horror filmish. You know, it's got some mystique to it. But it is so interesting, so fascinating to watch. I'm usually not one to watch shows like that, but I I randomly watched it once, uh, just the first episode to see if it was something I wanted to watch because I've heard good things about it. Uh, this is a couple years ago. And all of a sudden I was hooked, just completely hooked on it. So if you haven't checked it out, highly recommend it. And uh, let's get started. I've run from the darkness for so long. I need to find myself in a place darker still. Walk with me. Josh Hart. Peace. That can be found in the smallest details of life. I'm with you. The kind touch of a hand. And I with you, Ethan. You will not surrender while I live. Put this up, please! If I have one goddamn purpose in my cursed life, it's that you should tell her all. 
what I hear. She will take your pain and make it ours. That is what she does. In my most frightened and lonely moments, you were there. In such light, you brought to me. We're together for a reason. We are not like others. We have claws for a reason. <laughs> you know what I am. Yes. And here I stand. Stay with me tonight. Hey, yo. And tomorrow. I promise you. Oh, oh, well, hello. <laughs> Obviously, link down in the description in YouTube for the original video. Go throw out some much deserved love. All these compilations have been amazing today. So I hope you hope you've enjoyed them. All the links are available. I'll just have to post them all in the uh, description. Gosh, what a good one. What a fascinating show. It's kind of hard to put into words. I'm going to look up information on it just to give you it uh, and kind of refresh my mind because it's been a couple of years <laughs> since I've seen it. But yeah, we're all looking for somebody that makes us feel safe or um, makes us feel at peace or happy. Although you can't put all your happiness on someone else. That is That comes from within here. <laughs> but it is nice to find somebody that helps you get there, okay? That has your best interests at heart. Um, it, yeah, it's difficult to find, though. It is very difficult. I'm sure you are aware of that. Uh, if you're currently in the dating scene, good luck. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you're still surviving and you're thriving, but uh, judging by statistics, you're probably not. <laughs> but um, it is kind of hard to find that. It's nice that they found it, certainly. But let me look up... Let me look up uh, Penny Dreadful. Because I do want to kind of give a synopsis of it. And also, that'll help refresh my mind to the story. Because I just... I can't... The plot escapes me. <laughs> All right, here's the plot. Let me see if I can pull this up. Where do I go for this? This is the question. Boom. I've run nope. From the dog That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. See? I'm still learning this. I'm still learning it. Okay, here we go. Uh, oops. Where even is it? Wait. Hold on. I'll figure this out. I'll figure it out. There we go. There we go. Hey, figured it out. Uh, the first season begins in London, 1891. Ethan, an American gunman and roadshow artist, is hired by the adventurer Malcolm Murray and the mysterious, mysterious Vanessa to help rescue Murray's daughter from a mysterious, mysterious creature. <laughs> They receive help from a young doctor named Victor Frankenstein, you might have heard of him, who is hunted by an undead man of Frankenstein's creation. Ives becomes romantically involved with the handsome, artistic Dorian Gray. You can kind of see where this is going. It's got a lot of uh, cool characters, but also finds herself haunted by Lucifer, who wishes to make her his bride and queen. In the second season, Ives is hunted by a coven of witches, led by a charismatic Evelyn Poole, wanting to bring Ives to Lucifer, who is their master. Frankenstein is forced to make his creature a bride. Frankenstein's bride. And an inspector hunts Chandler for a grisly murder that Chandler committed in London Inn. In the third season, the main characters find themselves scattered across the world when Count Dracula appears in London. The final battle for Vanessa Ives' soul begins. Fascinating, right? It is super cool. It is super cool. All these great characters combined. And it is 
so much fun to watch. I cannot say that enough. Um, it's not surprising that Ethan kind of falls for Vanessa. Um, and they team up, which is really cool. <laughs> but yeah, it is, it is a lovely show. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, we're all trying to, we're all trying to find somebody like that. <laughs> and it's not easy. It's not easy, as I'm sure you are aware, if you are anywhere in the dating pool. Um, yeah, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful edit. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments for all of these. And uh, I'm looking forward, honestly, for this whole thing. This is kind of meta talk right now, but I'm looking forward to the comments because they're going to be very, like, vast like we're reviewing or reacting to many different shows in these going forward so it's going to be interesting to see how different all the comments are and it's going to be very cool to see all these different fandoms kind of come together uh and watch these it's going to be very interesting i'm really looking forward to it that's very exciting to me i hope it is to you as well anyway I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I will put the timestamps to each individual section down below in the comments. Uh, that'll be interesting. I've never done timestamps before. I think I know how to do it. But uh, if I don't know how to do it, if you want to do it in the comments, I'll pin your comment at the top. I appreciate it. Um, ToddReacts.com. The winter collection is available right now, as you saw in the ad. This is the heavyweight hoodie that I'm currently wearing. It's very soft. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. We got beanies and um, long sleeve tees, leggings, uh, raincoat even, which is going to come in handy in the next couple months. Uh, it is champion branded. It's very nice quality. Um, I haven't worn it yet because it just hasn't rained or been cold enough for it, but uh, it's very nice. I was surprised at how nice it is. With every piece of... Uh, merch that I've gotten for like a sample just to make sure, you know, it looked right and it was comfortable enough that I would wear it. I have been so shocked at how good this stuff is. <laughs> I have, Cause I've ordered merch from other creators before and it was not comfortable. So that was one thing I really wanted. I wanted it to be comfortable and that, you know, the fact that I'm wearing it all the time, like I have a hat, the Todd reacts hat that I wear all the time because it's nice it looks good it's comfortable it's got the snapback where you can adjust it to your head size it's fantastic i wear this all the time because it's a little thicker and it keeps you keeps you warm in the winter um yeah it is i've been pleasantly surprised you will definitely be surprised i think um it is wonderful <laughs> toddreacts.com you can also sign up uh, for a membership, you can request your own videos and be in a live stream. Um, join the public Discord. I'm trying to remember everything I say at the end of videos, and I'm having trouble. <laughs> join the public Discord. It is now public. Uh, you're more than welcome to hang in there with us and converse. Um, also, let's see, what else? What else do I say? <laughs> oh, check out these full-length Episode reactions, where is it? I think this is it. Yeah, there. Uh, I don't know if this is big enough that you can read it. So this might be a cutaway scene in the future, but there's all all of them. Uh, you can find that by just by going to toddreacts.com and then hitting the sneak peek link at the top. It's like right next to the members section and the shop. You just click that. And uh, you'll be well on your way to seeing this list. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy those. There's multiple tier levels available. And three of them, three of them? Yeah, I think three of them have access to these. So enjoy. I hope you enjoy. More added all the time. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching the first ever stream. You can catch these on Twitch. Um, they're going to be pretty much daily uh, for a while now. Uh, well, weekdays, weekdays, <laughs> not weekends, weekdays. 
Uh, they're going to be daily pretty much every day in the morning for me locally morning. Um, eventually they will be once a week. I'm assuming Tuesdays. Don't hold me to it, but that is the stated goal. Um, and it'll be just like this five different videos. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, it'll be at night. So I might have a little adult beverage with me while I do it. And you're more than welcome to participate. If you don't participate, grab a water, hydrate, all that good stuff. Um, this should be a thing like take a sip whenever I take a sip. So if you're drinking water, you're going to be very hydrated. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I shall see you all on the next one. I hope you take care of yourselves. And uh, yeah, let's see if I have this loaded. I think I do. Bye-bye.